Hey guys, I uh, hope you're all doing well as usual. Uh, I actually just got finished filming the last video, which you probably will have already seen by this point. Uh, that was on my water system in the van. So I went through like the whole water system and how all that works. So if you haven't seen it yet, I will throw a link up for you in the top corner somewhere and you can watch that. And this video is gonna be a little bit different. It's addressing a question that I had or a question that was put up on one of the forums that I follow on Facebook, the Van Dwelling Forum. And uh, it seems this guy was having some trouble with stealth camping. So he said, I believe he said that he just recently moved into his van and already he was getting hassled by the police. He was getting calls from the police and uh, apparently the council was saying that it was illegal to stay in your vehicle, yada yada, uh, which is the case in some places. I tend not to sort of worry about that sort of stuff personally. I just think as long as I'm not bothering someone, then it doesn't really matter. Uh, but don't take my advice on that. Uh, so he said that he had had some issues where he'd kind of been told he wasn't allowed to do it already, which means that people knew what he was doing. I don't know exactly where he was staying or what his van looks like or anything. I do know that it was a, a Toyota Hiace commuter, which uh, they're sort of like, if you don't have them in your country, they're, they're kind of like the shuttle buses that you would get from uh, airports or like little clubs and things like that just the small sort of van sized shuttle buses and they have windows all the way around them and i think part of the problem that he that he's having is that people are able to see like it's obvious by looking through the windows that someone's staying in the van and uh, i thought i would go through how i handle that sort of stuff and what i've done to my van and also some of the choices that i've made and why i made them uh, so first of all, I chose a van with less windows because my last van had windows all the way around and I chose this van because it's only got the one window on the sliding door and then the ones on the, the back doors um, and other than that it's all just metal all the way around so it's a lot better. I just had the one, uh, one window in case I want to have a nice view or something if I'm at a beach. I can uh, look out that window and then that way there's not so much I've got to cover up. Um, so that's kind of one of the choices that I made. Obviously that's not going to help this guy because he's got a commuter and they have windows all the way around them. So then I thought I would go through what I've done where I do have windows to make sure that people can't see in and that light doesn't leak through um, both ways. I mean, obviously it's nice to have it nice and dark in the morning when you wake up and you don't have the sun beaming through, but it's also uh, important so that you, when you have the lights on inside at night, people can't see the light from the outside because that's generally, that's generally the giveaway with, with the uh, vans when someone's inside is, is when they can see the lights. Um, and generally what people put on like curtains and things like that, I don't think that's enough. I think curtains, uh, it's just way too obvious because the light comes all around and you can actually see that there's curtains there. Sometimes you can see through them if they're not that thick um, and you can kind of see, you know, silhouettes moving around. Uh, it's a bad idea. I mean, personally, I've got a combination of block out curtains and uh, also reflective paneling. So on this window next to me, I've got this reflective panel. Uh, it's kind of like what I think a lot of people in the US talk about, they call it Reflectix. This isn't that, but it's very similar. It's actually one of those panels that you put up in the windscreen to block out the sun and keep the vehicle cooler, like you might put it in your car windscreen or something when you go shopping. It's one of those and I just cut it to shape uh, for the window and that works um, on a couple levels, it, it stops the light from going through, but it also helps with heat because windows, I mean, it's not just about stealth, but the more windows you have on the van, um, the more heat you're either going to gain or lose, depending on whether it's hot or cold outside. Uh, glass is one of the uh, biggest sort of um, heat losses or heat gains in your van. So if it's hot outside, it acts like a magnifying glass and it just beams the heat in and it's so hard to stay cool if you've got windows all the way around. And then if it's cold outside, 
there's no that glass isn't insulation there's just it just comes straight through i remember with my last van that had windows all the way around sleeping in that in the winter i could actually if i laid still i could feel the cold kind of coming in from the windows and coming over me like you see in those ads for refrigerators where they show kind of the cold air coming into the fridge it felt like that i could actually feel the air coming in um, and obviously the windows weren't open it was just that was the the cold coming from the glass um, so these reflective panels are good for that too now the other thing that i have on this window and on the back windows as well is i have a really dark tint it's the darkest tint that you can get i think it's like five percent or something uh, now with a van at least where i am in australia you are allowed to totally black out any windows that are not part of the cab so you can't do anything to your windscreen and your side windows in the cab you're allowed to i think it's like 30 percent or something don't quote me on that uh, but at the back you could you could paint over the windows if you wanted to like legally that you don't have to be able to see out of them i like to be able to see out of them so that's why i went with just a really dark tint and um, I'll take you outside in a little bit and show you what the tint does from the outside. But from the inside, what it does is uh, it does help with a little bit of the heat. Um, and then, yeah, you'll see on the outside, it in, during the daytime, it means you can't see into the van at all if you get a dark enough tint. And at nighttime, it helps. Like, it, you could still, if I didn't have that reflective panel on and I had lights on inside, you could still definitely see through. It generally works based on what's lighter. So it's like if, if it's lighter outside, you can't see in, but if, if it's dark outside and it's lighter inside, then you can see in. Um, that's what I've found anyway. But I have the reflective panel, and then so that you can't see that there's a reflective panel there, or at least it's harder to see, I have the tinting, which um, just, it makes things less obvious. So if you have curtains, or if you have this reflective stuff or if you have blinds or something get tinting as well and then people won't be able to see the curtains or the blinds or whatever you're using as obviously uh, and it it keeps it a little bit more stealth now at the back of the van i don't know if you'll be able to see from here you can see it's all black i actually have block out curtains so with the back of the van i didn't bother with um with putting any reflective paneling on i might do that in the future because i'm actually thinking about changing the back a little bit but for now what i've got is block out curtains from the ceiling to the floor and i've actually screwed them into the walls so that they hold tight against the wall and what that does is it doesn't let any light through and it also helps to insulate the van from the windows from the outside um, because having the curtains there i've got like a like a thin um, layer behind the curtains it's like an air barrier and that air gets really hot but the other side of the curtains inside the van um, it doesn't get hot so the block out curtains work really well and then I have the same at the front here this is um, this is the front uh, into the cab area so if I show you through there that's the steering wheel there um, and they go all the way up to the ceiling and I've got the sort of um, I don't know if you can see this metal uh, it's part of the cargo barrier. I left the top part in so that it, the light wouldn't flood over the top. So if you can see, if I didn't have this here, then the light would be able to flood over and people would see it. But it comes down to here and um, it just gives me that little bit of extra privacy. So this is what it looks like at the back of the van. Um, it's similar to the front, except that I have uh, this, which I think is called a pelmet, um, basically because I, there's no cargo barrier at the back. So to stop the light from flooding over, I just put this piece here. Um, and then behind here is the doors and you've got the windows there. And then if you look down here, this is the air gap I was talking about. So in here right now, it's really hot because the sun is beaming through. Um, but then on the other side, it's not uh, because these block out curtains and this air gap kind of work together to keep the heat um, in this side. But then also it also obviously gives you a lot of privacy because they are block out curtains. Um, so people can't 
see through. And I'll show you what it looks like from the outside in a sec. All right, I'm just gonna step outside quickly and show you what it looks like from the outside. I'll show you the side first and then I'll show you the back. Uh, bear in mind, it's a little bit windy out there, so there's probably gonna be a bit of wind noise on the microphone, uh, but I'm sure we'll live. So let's go out here. I'm just outside the side door now. And this is the side window with tinting and uh, with the reflective panel behind it. And it doesn't matter what angle I show it from, you're not gonna be able to see anything through there. Uh, and it looks pretty similar to this at night. Sometimes if there's a uh, real strong sun on here, you might be able to see the reflective panel behind. You still can't see anything inside whatsoever. So this is what it looks like from the back. That's the back doors. Um, as you can see, it's the same deal. You can't see anything inside there. Sometimes in really bright sun, you might be able to see a curtain, but it's pretty much uh, blacked out. So that's what you sort of need to do, or well, that's what I think you need to do in order to uh, remain stealthy and um, also to keep your privacy. As you can see, like there's no way anyone's gonna see in there. So I'm probably gonna make more videos on stealth camping in the future, cause it's kind of an interesting topic and it's a big topic for the van community cause most people that are living in vans are stealth camping at least some of the time. Uh, and it's something that I do pretty much every day. Uh, very rarely am I anywhere that, you know, like a campsite or anything like that. Um, so yeah, I'll make more videos. Obviously there's more to cover than than just this, but I just wanted to basically answer the question that that guy had on Facebook uh, to do with window coverings and, and how to make it less obvious that you're inside, um, just so that you don't get hassled by councils and police and neighbors and all that sort of stuff. So I'll make more videos in the future. Uh, I might make, make some videos on how to find uh, a spot, you know, like a, a good stealth camping spot and, uh, you know, how to blend in, all that sort of stuff. So this is the stuff that I use for my windows. Um, put it in close so you can see. Basically it's just called a sunshade, but it's one of those things that goes in your windscreen and they just come sort of folded up like that. And I just open it out, put it over the window and cut out the size that I need. Uh, that's what I use. I know that in the States, I've seen a lot of people using Reflectix. I just don't know where to get it here, but it's basically the same thing. I think Reflectix uh, comes in rolls. This stuff is, you just buy as many of those as you need. Uh, I used one for the side window. You could probably use one for both the back windows. And uh, I know that you can also get custom made ones that are probably a bit more effective. I think they have a bit more um, insulation uh, to them, but these ones work pretty well and the ones that you get made, I mean, they're expensive. It's probably like, I don't know, three or 400 bucks just for a few windows. So I just went the cheaper route. Uh, I have seen some pretty cool custom ones though. You can get them like magnetized. They look a bit neater as well. Maybe one day I might get it. But for now, that's, that's what I use. And you can see just there, if I lift up the corner, I've just attached them with Velcro. So you see there's Velcro there and then there's Velcro there. And then also I have one in the middle there that holds the, the middle of the panel on. And it stops, this one that I put in the middle stops the panel from lifting away. Because if I lift that away, you might be able to see some light. Yeah, you see the light leak through. Because it's quite a big panel, if you just have the edges done, uh, then this tends to flap around but I put one in the middle and that just holds it tight against the window. And that's all I did really, just a pair of scissors and a sunshade, a bit of sticky Velcro. All right guys, that's it from me for today. Uh, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, give it a thumbs up and leave all your comments and questions below. Uh, if you're watching this and you haven't subscribed yet, then you really should. Um, no, it's seriously, it would be pretty cool to, uh, to have you uh, come on board and watch all my future videos and if you do subscribe make sure you tick the little notification thing because otherwise YouTube will keep my videos a secret and they won't let you know. Um, I don't know why they do that but 
Anyway, see you next time.